Yo, what up, everybody? You are tuned in to a brand new episode of Behind the Baller Podcast. And today is episode 69. Yes, 69. <laughs> and today happens to be my wife's birthday, aka the greatest woman on this earth. Yes, my mom is also incredible, but this woman is the woman that changed my life. She helped me raise the bar and she brought good luck and good fortune to my entire life. Um, she also birthed my three children. Happy birthday, Nicolette. I love you beyond words. We will celebrate today the best we can, even though we're quarantined. Um, I know you love cake and I know you love wine, so I will give you both. Uh, but speaking of 6 9 I heard the rapper Snitch 6 9 was uh, supposed to get out of jail yesterday, but that didn't happen. And also, since this is episode 69, we got the thoughty of all thoughts. We got Selena Powell as our guest on today's podcast show. If you don't know who she is, you'll find out soon enough. So how do we start? I mean, there's only one way we could start, right? I know so many of you are tired of hearing about the news and coronavirus. And to be honest, so am I. Um, unless Obama or someone like Chris Jenner dies from COVID-19, like, I'm not going to speak too much on it. You know, I mean, I've covered so much of it early on. And I was right about all including the fact that now yesterday the white house and u.s intelligence finally announced via classified sealed but now unsealed documents that the total death toll and infection numbers of china were wrong they estimate it was what i had said before right but they're saying somewhere between you know the quarter million range um, in regards to deaths, but some U.S. officials have said it is north of 500,000 dead in China from COVID-19. Yes, fuck faces, not 3,200. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at the Chinese president. Be mad at your president if you're Chinese. I've been calling it cap since early February. All right. And they assume millions have been infected. They weren't even fucking calling people who had no symptoms but were infected. They weren't even adding those people to the list. All right. The entire way they did their count was fucked up. All right. No need to discuss that anymore. But what I do want to do is get into this. When Donald Trump actually says this quarantine is done, which, like, to be real... I think this shit could go into the holidays. It could go into fucking 2021 easily because who the fuck is really going to sit in a restaurant in June or July, right? With their family, with their fucking grandfather, with their mom, right? Who's going to go to a sporting event or concert in the summertime? Like for real, even though, you know, it's supposed to, you know, not live as well in the summertime. And they said all this shit. Listen, because China's numbers were fucked up, everyone's numbers were fucked up. Because our numbers are going to be fucking bad. And no one knew what China's numbers were. And if we knew what China's numbers were from the beginning, and I'm not anti-China. I'm just telling you, just fucking tell the truth. If their numbers were, if they were transparent and told us the numbers, we, I bet as much as a fucking dumb fuck Donald Trump is, he, they would have jumped on this a lot sooner. Okay? Going back to at it, all the shit's not adding up even in America now. It ain't no motherfucking old man disease. It's a lot of 20, 30-year-olds dying, motherfucking teenagers, young people, kids, you know. Who the fuck wants to go on an airplane in, in June or July, all right? Why? There's no fucking cure. It's the most contagious fucking disease that we've seen. Don't bring up the Spanish flu, you fucking stupid, dumb motherfuckers. The next motherfucker I see, if I see somebody in person say bring up the Spanish flu, I'm going to pull out my fucking 9mm and shoot him in the foot. All right? Listen, 
There's no fucking cure. There is no vaccine currently. I know they're working on one. It's going to take a fucking while, all right? It won't even be here for another year, at the very least. All right, so what does that mean for our economy? It means we're fucked. That's the most positive way I can say it, period. All right? I'm still trying to honestly figure out what we're going to do with IF and Co. All right, I got the personal orders, you know, my personal custom pieces in order. That's fine. But like, what the fuck about my retail store? And people are like, what about, fuck you, who cares about, no shit, fuck you too. All right? Everyone take care of themselves. All right? If you take care of yourself, take care of your immediate responsibility, a lot of people wouldn't be in the fucking situation that they're in. All right? But I care about you guys too, because if I wasn't, I wouldn't be fucking donating money and doing this. And I don't need it for fucking any like pat on the shoulder or shit. It's because I feel bad. Okay? But real talk. Who's going to go to the fucking mall and risk catching coronavirus? All right. In fact, my kids won't be going to school this fall. Okay. They're not going to start a new year there. They're going to have to fucking homeschool. There's no way. And to be even realer, there will for sure be another big outbreak this fall or winter. Because again, we got no vaccine. And idiots might take it serious this time around after losing everything they got that means their gucci belts the little ferragamo belts yes their yeezys their louis vuitton little fucking wallets and shit and all that little bullshit that doesn't mean anything anymore yeah it'll finally slap them in the face because no work for six months other countries they're doing amazing things for their citizens they're giving them fucking you know, 70% of their salary, they're getting them fucking $1,000 every fucking two weeks that they got kids, more money. What do we get in the U.S.? A $1,200 check if you file the tax return. College students, high school students, 18, they won't get it. I mean, they won't even fucking hold. Okay. We don't even fucking have health care here, all right? And that $1,200 won't even hold down most of the country for a couple of weeks. Meaning some families won't even fucking, that shit won't last you know, it will get you some groceries here and there. You know, you know, if you if you buy cheaper, I'm just saying it's it's nothing compared to what the fuck people are gonna lose. All right. The only thing recession proof at this moment are mask makers, sanitizer or cleaning supplies, uh, like cleaning companies, like fucking Clorox and shit, Lysol. Of course, food. Food is probably the most recession proof fucking item in the world. But throughout all the recessions, right? They say gaming. And the movie industry is never affected. Let me tell you something. No one's ever spoke on this yet. I haven't heard an analyst speak on it. I'm going to speak on it. Gaming and online streaming sites and apps and shit, yeah, they're winning right now, okay? How about in six to eight months when most, and I truly mean a majority of this country is broke, all right? Broke like, okay, I got money to get milk, bread, and sandwich meat or like ramen, like the essential important shit. Am I going to spend $20 on a movie or a video game or even an online game or, or you know, online game add-ons, extras? No, you're not, period. You're going to spend that money on fucking food. And again, the essentials, the important shit. Internet access, right? Having Wi-Fi will be a luxury at this point. There'll be more motherfuckers running off fucking LTE and 4G and I don't want to hear anything about, listen, we're not, I'm not ready to go into the 5G conspiracy thing because, listen, I don't doubt that it's not going to get people sick here and there, but that shit got nothing to do with coronavirus. Stop it, all right? To every single shithead who told me weeks ago, are you fucking stupid? You think that's actually going to fucking be, do you think there's going to be a fucking lockdown? You, I think they're actually going to lock down the country? Do you know what that will do to our economy? Nah, I, I don't. You tell me, dumb fuck. Okay, because it's happened. 87% of the fucking United States of America is currently on lockdown. Yes, everyone who said this will never happen has been quiet because it has happened. It's happening right now. And the worst is yet to come. Let me reiterate. It takes seven to nine months for the fastest people to edit, record, make an entire complete season of a television series. Okay, maybe longer for a film especially, you know, a good movie, all right? And listen, no studios right now, no Hollywood studios are making movies or TV shows, okay? 
in six to eight months, Netflix will have ran out of content because they're going to be putting out all the shit that they had from months ago, from a year ago, whatever. Even bullshit that wasn't that good, they're probably going to fucking put it out. They'll put out different variations of things, but even still, the ones who barely have money for food won't be able to pay for streaming services, right? A lot of password using is going to be going on straight up. They're probably going to fucking try to cancel that shit, and that's what's going to create fucking rioting and all kinds of stuff. Speaking of which, shout out to my boy Taco from Odd Future because he's had my Netflix password for fucking seven years now. I see him logging in all over the place. Hey, you have a new login from, you know, Glasgow. New login from Miami. New login from fucking, you know, Morocco. It's like, Taco, you got too much fucking money for you to fucking be fucking using my $20 password. Anyways, that means the gaming industry will fall apart too. It's going to be hit. It's got to, because eventually people ain't going to have no motherfucking money. And what's going to happen? That's just going to be fucking cutbacks, layoffs, and all that shit. Because if nobody has any money, and even the upper middle class families and even upper class families in the six-figure range, like the lower six-figure range, and their salaries ain't happening, they can't work. Dude, that means no games for their kids, right? I know this is being real extreme. Yeah, I know, right? But again, this is so real and so believable, you better get a fucking plan, all right, save your money, invest in something solid, all right, don't gamble if you can't gamble, does that make sense, you might need to really eat one meal a day, again, to the fucks that say this will never happen, you are fucking delusional, because it very well can Because we can't safely go back to work unless two things happen. One, the entire nation, 330 million people get infected. That's that's one option, all right? The other option, we find a cure. And remember, a cure still has to be approved by the FDA before it gets distributed throughout the country. Uh, What about the side effects? Shit. You might grow an 11th finger taking a motherfucking vaccine for fucking coronavirus. You might grow a third testicle. All right? I'm just saying. Shit is going to be very fucked up. And I'm praying that this $2.2 trillion bailout helps more American families across the board than it does the big companies. Even though I want to help the big companies too. I don't want to see Hilton and Hyatt, these companies, go out of business. I don't want to see, you know these major car corporations go out of business. I don't. I don't want to see anybody go out of business. All right? That six months deferred payments by mortgage, by by the banks, is definitely a start. But my bank is a small bank that I have my mortgage with. And they gave me two months. At first, they they said you could have forbearance. And I was like, fuck your forbearance. How fucking silly that is. It's the stupidest shit in the world. It doesn't even fucking make sense, to be honest with you. But they gave me two months, all right? I'd love a year. But I know this is scary, all right? Okay, it is, period, in every definition. But I'm ready. I'm not, you know, it's not going to let me, it's not going to stop me from from living, okay? But I want to ask you, what the fuck is fear-mongering, right? I I know what you guys think it is and and what what some people on the internet say, but when it comes to fear-mongering and COVID-19, the coronavirus, all right? Nah. To all the idiots who said this is less than a flu or less than smoking deaths or total suicide deaths or other bullshit like, oh, there have been more deaths from car accidents. Listen, dummies, those are all by choice and, of course, an accident. That's why it's called an accident, COVID-19 is a fucking contagious, infectious disease that will kill millions if we're not smart, all right? You should be afraid of a guy who's pointing a gun at your head, all right? Who has, he has a revolver. You know what a revolver is? The difference between a gun and a revolver? Okay, you should be scared of a guy with a revolver in his hand pointed at your head and he has one bullet in it and then he spins the barrel around, okay? That's the metaphor that breaks down any idiot who calls what this is fear-mongering. You should brace yourselves, all right? 
Think of a plan C. Think of a plan fucking D, F, M, N, T, U, V. Think of a f- plan all the way to plan Z. Being dead ass. Write that shit down in your notes. All right. But Leo, let's check this out, man. Let's lighten shit up. Miles, hit me off with that good lakey lake. So the last few episodes, I've told you guys about our new sponsor, Acre Gold, our official subscription platform for gold. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty with markets and having gold is important to have just in case shit really hits the fan. Acre Gold lets you make small monthly payments and then sends gold straight to your doorstep every few months. I encourage all of you to sign up so that you're putting money into different formats that will increase during shitty times like these. It's valuable to not just rely on any bank account or paper money. This is something I wish I did in the last recession. Here are the benefits of Acre Gold. It's affordable. You don't have to pay out of your pocket all at once. It's convenient. Physical gold bars mailed to your doorstep. Acre branded gold is the highest quality designed in California and minted in Switzerland. Subscribe for $30 or $50 a month. Once your gold stash reaches the price of a 2.5 gram acre gold bar, they will discreetly ship your gold. You're in control. You can easily cancel or modify your plan to suit your needs at any time. Find out more by going to getacregold.com backslash baller. Acre is the sponsor of this Behind the Baller podcast episode. GetAcreGold.com backslash baller. Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Ben Baller, and you are tuned into another episode of Behind the Baller. We got a whole different type of guest today, and you already know, listen, I don't really, out of, out of, what 69 how crazy is this shit yo this is gonna be episode 69 i didn't even fucking realize this shit now and i've only (laughs) interviewed two people in my life what the fuck are the chances episode 69 it's the third girl we've ever had on the show and i don't really have women unless it's obviously talking about you know business or whatever but we got selena powell on the show selena what's good hey that's crazy this How cra- is 69. yo this is episode 69 i had no fucking idea just realized right now looking at my episode chart holy shit i hope 69 does get out though yeah so he was supposed to get out today at um well they said five o'clock and that was like two hours ago so or hour and a half ago i don't know what happened right. i don't know either maybe it's april fools but i hope because i'm gonna be all over that <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know Daniel like that. You know, one of my like one of my proteges, Jimmy Boy. He makes his jewelry. Um, I personally don't fuck with dude. You know what I mean? Whatever. And and everyone had got. You know, I got so many friends of mine who they rock with him. You know, they they like he's entertaining. Whatever. I just I'm an older cat, so you know, call me boomer, whatever the fuck. I don't really fuck with dude. But what? Um. So do you know him? Yeah, I've had sex with him. <laughs> 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 Hold on, wait a second. Of course, I know him. He got a um, I forgot what the fuck his girlfriend's name is, or whatever. Boy, or she's anyway. She's she, irrelevant. Oh, she's irrelevant. Okay, it's it's crazy because the baby moms of his first. Wait, well, actually, no. He, does he have one kid or two kids? I don't even know. I don't know either. The second one isn't confirmed yet, so I don't know. Okay, so the baby mom, she's mad. I saw on like the internet because he's like still giving gifts to the girlfriend, whatever, and some. You know, listen. Fuck oh boy, we can talk about that later. Let's let <laughs> we, we're here to talk about you first of all, right? Okay, so I did some research on you, and there's all kinds of shit on you. I'm like, God damn, this girl for a young ass girl, you got a lot of a lot of. I'm 24. Uh, that's not that young. That's young, girl. I'm old enough to be your dad. Anyways, how old are you? I'm 47. I'm trying to make you my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yo. So why the Black Widow? Why do people call you the Black Widow? I ain't seen nobody die. Like the black I know widow. me either. Yeah, so I don't know. The shade room randomly just started calling me that after like my fifth body. Your sixth body. So, All right, we'll get yeah, into, we we gonna get into the body count in a little bit, right? So like I know <laughs> I know um 
you're used to the typical hip hop blog forums, right? This is a business show, obviously, right? And people be like, what the fuck does this guy do with business? It was more interesting because I want to kind of get away from what's going on in the world right now, which we'll discuss a little bit, but I know you're used to like a platform like Academics or like Adam, you know what I'm saying, who's been on my show and I've been on his twice. Um, it's a different audience. So the people that you're speaking to right now, they may or may not know. So I, I, in a nutshell, it just could you tell the people who you are? Like, whatever the fuck you want to say. Well, I'm an Instagram bitch and basically made my name for like stuck in and fucking famous rappers, actors, athletes. And then when I get bored, like I just tell the world about it. And then I sometimes make YouTube videos about them too. Oh, you have a YouTube page? Yeah, the YouTube, and I just created my own fans. I'm leaking sex tapes too. Hold, hold on, wait a second. You have an OnlyFans page now? Yeah, I have OnlyFans where I'm gonna leak the celebrity sex tapes. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say I, I it's thought... been so long that like I feel like they wouldn't care. Okay, so I, I went to your page and I haven't seen your page like in three or four years. I forgot how to fuck. I don't think Shade Room's how I found your page. I forgot how I found your page. Why mm. do you say you're a thought in training? I'm just. You obviously must be a professional by now. How the fuck is you in training? No, the thoughts are in training. Like, I'm teaching them because I have a boyfriend now. So I'm teaching everyone else how to become, like, how I was. Because it's really not rocket science, but everyone is always so, like, fascinated by how I did it. So I'm teaching them how to do it. Okay, you're teaching them how to, like, come up? I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm teaching them how to, like, slide in rappers' DMs, like, how it's, like, finesse them like because some of these rappers they be like tricks so like they'll pay you you know so i teach them that like how to get their attention what works the best you know okay so then let me ask you let me ask you like what is your goal for this like are you i know it ain't for just clout or nothing like are you getting money are you trying to become famous like just snoop dogg alone gave me 20 bands i'm sorry who so snoop dogg (laughs) yeah Snoop's one of my old, like I've known Snoop for thirty years. I, you, you, yeah. What? Yeah, I was in LA with him at his secret apartment. I ain't gonna yeah. speak on that because I know exactly what you're talking about. But I ain't gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yep, exactly. Okay, so 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 you in it for the money then? Yeah, it's really only about the money. Like it used to be about the clout until I realized like I'm broke with like two hundred thousand followers. So. I was like, wow, because I, I originally couldn't even work a regular job. I was so known. So I was broke. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck this. And then I started making money off of it. And then YouTube came in my life. And then now I'm on this OnlyFans bag. So I'm really only in it for the money. I want to be on like Love and Hip Hop and like other TV shows. That, but I, right now. Look, it, I don't understand how Mona Scott has not put you on the show. Like, that's crazy. Like, you should have. I mean, but the only well, thing is. You no, know, because I got fired because I, I was with academics for like, well, I wasn't with him, but I was fucking him for like two years. What? So, yeah, I was fucking academics for a minute. <laughs> I was all in love with him. So when I was fucking so, him. So fat guys like, got a chance then. So fat boys got a chance then. You know, if if you look, I, it wasn't even about the looks with academics, honestly. Like I just fell in love with him in a different matter. Wow. But Okay, so then yeah, so what? I got fired from Love and Hip Hop basically because oh, of academics. Hold on, wait a second. So you were actually on? Did you actually shoot anything or? No, I wasn't. I was casted. I had a contract and I had an NDA, and I trusted academics. And then when he got mad at me, he exposed it. And then they were like, "We don't want to fuck oh, with you." Oh fuck. I was supposed to be I was supposed to be on hip hop, um, loving hip hop LA. I didn't want to do it. That's just not my thing. I've had what two reality TV shows on major networks. I just couldn't fuck with that period. But that would have been entertaining. I ain't gonna lie to you because I mean, first of yeah. all, Slim, what are you? Are you white? You're, you're white, right? You're I'm Puerto Rican and white. Yeah. Okay, I knew there had to be some kind of flavor in there. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So hold on, let me ask you. So what's the end goal for this then? Just to get me like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Everyone always asks me, like, what's the end goal? I really don't have like an end goal. Like I just see me doing me, getting whatever bag is out there and just like living my life. Life is just too short to like really like care what people think. Like, no, I feel you. So I don't I just, give a fuck. But what I'm saying is where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Um, I see myself having a business, still being popping. 
way more known than I am now. Like what kind of business? Hopefully a family. I really want to open up like a salon type thing because I used to go to school for that. Right. Before I was at home. So I want to open up like a salon or like, you know, just like a regular business or like do like, you know, clothes. I really want to do that. Okay. What's like the, I mean, you said, man, I can't even say his name. Cause that's like my that's my boy. Like we the same age. So like is that is that like twenty thousand? That's the most expensive gift you ever got from this shit or? Um, let me see. Yeah, What's Offset that? offered me fifty thousand to abort the baby, cause I I feel like I was pregnant. But I knew if I took that, like he could sue me like for it back when he found out it, I wasn't even pregnant. Uh, so I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I'm smart. Like, that's why I have never been sued. Like. Knock on wood, but well, no, I saw something on TMZ where some dumbass dude, some bounty hunter, fucking got you in Colorado or some shit. And like, first of all, mm. you wasn't scared at all. Some motherfuckers taking mm. you to jail and you telling him, "Bitch, I wish you would tase me or some shit." And I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, this bitch got you. This bitch got balls. Like, you you're going to jail. First of all, you're wearing a tight ass pink dress. This I was at a hosting. Yeah, so what the fuck did they arrest you for? I didn't exactly understand what they arrested you for. Because I had a whole bunch of other cases, like, when I was younger. And I just never wanted, because jail time was on the line. And, of course, like, I'm enjoying, like, being, like, known. So I don't want to go sit in jail. So how did you get out then? I had a bailout. Oh, shit. And then I went to jail and I was on house arrest and now I'm good. So... Okay, so let's go back to Offset real quick. Why did you say you're pregnant with his baby? I was just, I was, that was like, I couldn't fucking believe it. That was crazy. That was. Um, I was bored. I <laughs> faced some academics and I was like, I'm pregnant. And he was like, don't lie to me. And I was like, okay, it's my friend. She's pregnant. And then he was like, okay, like, don't lie to me. I was like, but I am going to say it's a rapper. Like, let me see who I was with like three months ago. And it was either NBA young boy or Offset. So I just pinned it on Offset. Hold on, wait a second. So you actually did fuck Offset. Is that what you're saying? No, the media the media just presumed that I was with Offset, so I just let it rock. Okay, so you never met dude before, right? No, no, no. I, I met him. I just never... It just it didn't happen like where I was in the same room as him. It ha- I mean, it was in the same room as him, but we didn't do anything, though. No. Okay, mm-hmm. so you said actors. Can you name an actor? Because I, I, I always thought it was just always rappers. I didn't know it was like anything else. Yeah, I've been with O'Shea Jackson Jr. <laughs> and then... Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Terrence J. I'd be like... God, like, no one even knows that, so that's an exclusive. This is the no fucking. This is the crazy part. I can't even. First of all, I, was with, I talked to Terrence like two days ago. This was my boy, so like, people are gonna be mad, but it's like, look, I'm just doing my journalist job. Like you, you saying crazy shit is what it is. So okay, so how come no white actors or no white? Uh, white I'm just not players? into white people. Okay, and you you never fucked an Asian dude before, right? So no, because you don't let me. So, but whenever you let me, that's when I have. I'll add one. You so fucking crazy. So why only rappers? No NBA players, no NFL players, no Um, I've been with Dwight Howard, uh, Ron Miller, Alonzo something from like the New York Knicks. Why has it gotta be people I know? This is fucking terrible. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> Where, where's the furthest or like most exotic country you've been to? Like on um, you know what I'm saying, while getting a bag, like what's the like, like I don't nothing. Know. I've never left the United States. Everyone comes to me. To Denver? No. Or so where are you at again? Denver, LA, and Miami. And New York. Damn. So hold on. So you, you were dating academics for two years. Were you staying faithful to him? Or were you just, were you like, were you fucking no, around? No, like, we were never official. He had his like, like little hoes and whatever. But I still was faithful, like an idiot. I mean, I would set it up to be like, still popping. And he would also get, you know, like. Academics his got hoes? Academic, yeah, he has a lot of hoes. Academics, wow, good for the so good for many him. Hoes. That's my dog. Oh, he, has, he has threesomes. He has foursomes. Like he gets hoes. Wow, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, hoes, 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 hoes. So let me ask but, this, because because you obviously, so you just love sex. How come you never did porn? Well, I'm doing OnlyFans now because I honestly was gonna do porn because I was trending on Pornhub for two weeks straight at number one when my sex when uh video of me sucking dick leaked for like it was like a 20 second video 
and it leaked and academics actually announced that I want that it was that that video existed. So whose dick were you and sucking? If you don't mind me asking. I was sucking that Alonzo guy. Oh my god. In New York. So let me ask you. Academics made me sad, so I called up the the um and if I mean the NBA player. So when did you lose your virginity? At what age? A month before I turned eighteen. Oh shit! You barely lost it. Like, where did it go wrong? What do you oh, mean, like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Oh, I'm Wait, saying, I'm I, sorry. I just been wilding out. <laughs> you just wilding out. I mean, I do you know. look? Do you look the same as you did six years ago, or do you look totally different? Fuck no, no. I got my lips done. Um, I got my teeth done. I got my cheeks done. I got my ass. I got ass shots. Um, you got your cheeks done. What the fuck are you talking about? In your like face? I got cheek fillers. Yeah, I got cheek fillers. You got fill. You're like you're young. Why, why would you do all that? So you got what is it again? Fat transfer in your butt? Is that what you did? No, I got ass injections. So it's not that big because they're just injections. How tall are you? 5'4". You're 5'4". You look skinny though. Okay, so... Yeah, do you want to see? Um, up. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> look, let's just get this over with. Let's just... Let's just what is the body count? Tell me for real. Like, because I'm just... Now you've been talking so crazy about it. My body count? I feel like it's in like... Maybe high 30s. Oh, that's it? Yeah, did you think I was like in the 200s or something? I, I, I thought you might have been said 1,000. I have no idea. No, that'd be lit though. And how many would you say at a, at a, no. in the 30s, how many would you say was famous? Um, 28. Oh my God. So I really only fucked with two other like non-celebrities, like my boyfriend now and then my ex-boyfriend, the one that like was abusive. That's it. So... Have any of these, like, let's say the rappers, right? Have you ever been mentioned inside or in a rap song before, ever? Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, Roddy Rich. he mentioned me in a song. He uh, put me on Down Below. He said, like, my bitch is bad as Selena. Um, How do you know he didn't talk about Selena Gomez? Because I was fucking him, so I oh, know it's about Oh, my him. God, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Sayari, he made a song about me. I don't, I don't know, um, I don't know I don't who that is. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, he's really nobody. Okay, nobody. so so my question, um, like like on some health shit, right? And yeah. then we're going to get into some like... like. I only caught one STD. Oh my God. I was just going to ask you. Yeah, you so you've had... S, what did you get? Chlamydia. Oh. So you took it's some... Shit, it's all right. It's clearable. Yeah, you took the um, antibiotics and you were all good. I took four pills and then they're like, don't fuck for a week. And I was like, I... Right. Have you had an uh, abortion before or no? Nah, if I get pregnant, I'm keeping it. Oh, wow. Because I know it's going to be from a famous person. Duh. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Do you have health insurance? Yes. Oh, you do? Oh, shit. Yes. I, I, I'm impressed. Wow. <laughs> wow. You got health insurance? That's a big deal. Listen, girl, I'm being real. Listen, motherfuckers don't have health insurance. That's, that means you actually care about your health. I mean, I don't know. You know, yeah. you, you seem reckless with everything. I get tested so much because... You know, sometimes I'd be like, I don't even know. So, I mean, do I these people ever go raw with you or not? Nah? Hell yeah. Oh my God. I'd be kind of scared. The most scared I ever been was when I fucked Chief Keith and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in Chicago. Oh, actually, no, he's in LA. Shit, he's in LA now. He's Yeah, he took me to that Bel Air hotel or some shit like that. It was lit. It was a nice ass hotel. Yeah, no, the hotel Bel Air is super dope. It's like almost like you feel like you're not in LA. It's like you're in the mountains in a way. It's like you drive out there and it's mm -hmm. it's real low key. You ain't gonna see no motherfucker rap motherfuckers in there. It's it's mad chill. I mean, Oprah Winfrey used to stay there. So yeah, it's super low key. Let me ask you a question: Do you have any idols like in the game? Like, is there is there an idol in life that you have and like that? Kim Kardashian and like Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe's my idol because I want to fuck the president so bad. Shut the fuck. You would fuck Donald Trump right now? Yeah, I have his son in my DMs. On God, I'll DM you then right now. Stop playing. I'm going to DM you right now. So you ready for this? How funny is this? Donald Trump Jr., his girlfriend of two years, is one of my very close friends' sister. It's fucking crazy. That's Are fucking, you serious? I'm dead ass serious. And you be talking shit about his dad? Fuck Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck about him. Fuck him. Um, He's so fine. So let me ask you a question. Would, would you fuck? Would you fuck Andrew Yang? 
No, you got to be presidential for me to fuck you. <laughs> if you win, I. But if you're a loser, no thanks. Okay, so let's talk about some current events. Obviously, I've been trying to like avoid it, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously right now, how come me and you aren't in the same room together? Man, I guess because of this coronavirus, it's been annoying because I would love to see you. you know. <laughs> okay, so what are your thoughts about the COVID-19 coronavirus? Like, honestly, like... Are you scared Truly, about it? You don't, yeah. I'm not scared because I don't leave the house. So I'm personally not scared. But I do wonder, like, you know, what's going to happen, you know? Because if they clear it, like, how do you know it's gone? Like, are they going to test the air? Like, well, I don't know. Well, it depends. You're talking about, oh, you mean how you know if it's gone, like, completely? Well, it's not going to be for yeah, a long when, time. When you, it's not yeah, going to be. Yeah, when, no. When they, yeah, when they tell us, like, okay, you guys can leave your house again, like, how do we know it's gone? It's yeah. not. It's not. We're more fucked. Than, listen, I've been studying this since like January, and I've been one of the biggest advocates. When I, I've been talking about this for a very long time. Now look at, if Donald Trump were yeah, to clear, yeah, he gets home with you, right? Yeah, I mean my my son and, and what's going on. And anyways, going forward, if let's just say for instance in June Donald Trump's like, okay, let's you know everyone could go out. Like motherfucker, I'm not going out. Like there's no cure. There's no vaccine yet. It's gonna take another year to get a vaccine. And on top of that, like now if you got it already. And you went through the process. Now, the chances of you catching it again is very unlikely. But some people haven't developed antibodies, so like they're getting it. But my question is like, have you been like washing your hands? Are you wearing a mask? Like, are you like, how serious are you taking it? No, <laughs> no. I just don't leave the house. Me and my boyfriend are just inside all day. Oh, that's right. So. You got a boyfriend. I'm so sorry, man. That's, I forgot. Totally forgot yeah. about that. So then you guys are so good. We just then. be chilling inside. When we have to leave the house, it's like to go to the grocery store. And yeah, I like wipe down the cart and stuff and then I'll wash my hands when I get home. But and I don't touch my face. And then they all wear masks too, because I don't have a mask, but they wear masks. So we're all good. Alright, that's cool. Do you have any vices? Like do you drink? Do you smoke? Like do you fuck with pills? You anything like Not, that? I don't do shit. Real that's it? You don't drink nothing? Nothing. Nope. I've been drunk, I think, twice in my life. And then I got paid to do like an Instagram video with like this blunt and I hit the blunt one time my whole life. That's it. Wow. So then besides Donald Trump Jr., because that's a pretty big deal because you're talking about somebody who has secret service around him, everything else. Like who's the most fucking famous motherfucker that's been inside your DM? Um, I think Drake. <laughs> Drake. Drake was the most famous person who's ever responded. Um... He and then Chris Brown, but he blocked me. So that Chris was Brown a sad thing. Oh yeah, I heard. Actually, no, maybe I'm not tripping. I think that was someone else. Never mind. Was yeah, it Chris Usher? Brown blocked me. Tory Lanez has me blocked. Me and Tory Lanez hate each other though, so it's fine. Tory Lanez. Um, yeah, he's not that famous though. What Who? <laughs> I don't know. Trey songs. Wish, you, you, you know Trey songs, right? Or do you, was that Usher? I forgot what. I forgot. I saw no, your Trey, name with. I saw your name with Trey one. Trey songs kidnapped me. So. Trey Songz, what? He kidnapped me. Can I, can like, I, all jokes inside, he kidnapped me. Can I Google that, or is that not not known? I don't understand. Is that? No, you no, you can. Um, it's on my YouTube channel. And I think some blogs did post it. Um, I had a whole police report, and I dropped the charges, obviously, because, you know, we live in this. We when I lived in Miami for a minute, we lived in the same building. So, you know, I just didn't want him. He he would like threatened me but like in a passing matter where i couldn't like really tell cops because it's not that he'd be like oh i'm gonna throw you a surprise party like you know stuff like that so i would just drop the charges on him i was like can we just be cool like whatever you know <laughs> so what are you doing you're, you're in la right now right yeah i'm in la what are you doing out here you just i mean are you you just chilling i mean you i mean well obviously no one could work but i mean you came out here yeah. just to just to kick no, it. No, we working. We running it up on OnlyFans. What you mean? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Me that's and my right. boyfriend both have one. So let me ask you a question because I've never met anybody. I don't know. I don't know anybody who has a page as OnlyFans. So how does that work? Is it a monthly? Is it a daily prescrip uh, subscription? Like how does it? Tell me. Honestly, I'm just getting the hang of it. My boyfriend on his OnlyFans, like he's been running it up, and like you just like sell like your nudes and stuff. I don't know. Hold I on. Wait a know. second. So OnlyFans, is it an app? Is it a website? I don't, I'm honestly telling you. It's a website. Truth. It's not an app. I wish it was an app. Okay, so it's a website. So on the website, you could just post pictures. You don't post videos. You don't do like actual live cam. 
nothing like no, that. No, you can't. You can, but they have to pay for it. Okay, so how much does it cost so, to go to be an OnlyFans uh, member of yours? Twelve dollars. Okay, and twelve dollars gets you what? Like a day, a week, one hour? What does it get? It gets you a whole month, and then yeah, and you can message me because I don't reply to no DMs at all ever. I've never replied to any normal person's DMs. So like this is like shit's like exclusive. So they can message me on there, and then I'll reply to them on there. You know? Okay, so. How many subscribers do you have right now on your OnlyFans? Shit, let me check. When I just woke up right now, I think I had like 300. I had 319. 319. Okay, so shit. Oh, that's... but I started today. Oh, you just started it today. Actually, I just refreshed it. 350. Oh, that shit. Okay, that shit's going to be big then. That's going to be fucking huge. Yeah, I'm going to link up with other hoes, you know? But the and question is, do... but you're not going to be on there having sex. You're just going to be showing whatever. No, I'd be fucking my man. <laughs> so hold on. Right now, if someone goes to your OnlyFans page right now, what can they see on there right now? They can see me sucking my man's dick, a nude, and that's it right now. Because I just made it three hours ago. So. Oh, my God. You're so fucking crazy. So let me add, and I don't want to piss your, your boyfriend off, but at all the celebrities you fuck with, who had the best sex game, period? Um... Don't tell me I academics. I'm gonna fucking hang up on you right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm being serious. Like who? <laughs> I don't know. You do. I don't know. know. Think that's in, everyone always asks me that. Who had the biggest penis? Tell me something else, like the something biggest, crazy. Biggest? Okay, the big, the biggest one I think that I've ever seen was, you know, that guy, little Yachty's friend. Like, I mean, not little Yachty's friend, but little Yachty, the guy that sings like broccoli, that broccoli song. Yeah, Yachty's one of my good friends. No, the but the guy that he did the song with, it, Baby Drum or something. Drum. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Dram or D R A M, whatever. Dram, yeah, he has the big, he had the biggest dick I ever seen, and then I think DJ Esco, he has a good, he has a big dick. So, you just Jesus Christ, man! Listen. Oh my I, God, I want Future so bad. I forgot about Future. Ugh. Oh, you Future told with- me he wouldn't. No, Future told me he wouldn't fuck with me because I fucked with academics. <laughs> I was so sad. I was like, you know what? I don't even know him like that. <laughs> I can't listen. There's no way you have only thirty. You only have thirty bodies, and you fuck with these. Like, I don't. Even, no, like, I said the high thirties. I don't really know. I need to sit down and really count. But I would say, like, I know no more than fifty for sure. No more than fifty. Okay. Did you fuck Soldier Boy? No, he's still on the list. He was in jail, you know. Soldier no, Boy's actually, in jail. I don't think for, Soja Boy, I don't think he'd fuck with me because I threatened these other girls and they were with Soja and Soja sent me a video. He's like, fuck Selena Powell. I was like, oh, okay. Wait, so you fuck, you, are you like bisexual? You fuck with girls too or no? No, ew, no. No, I was like threatening these girls because like they, they were on No Jumper and they were talking about fucking academics and I threatened them and they just happened to be flown out by Soja Boy. Oh my God. Well, actually, you know what? Now that you thought you just talked about it, and with love and hip hop, like, do you have hands? Can you throw? Can you fight or not? Nah? Yeah, I can fight. If I couldn't fight, I would probably not go after other girls' boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, okay. Selena. Look at man. You are fucking a very unique kind of person. I, I can't ever say. When are we gonna link up? I, <laughs> after the coronavirus is over, we're gonna definitely hang out. And um, oh word! Listen, oh, I, I got, okay. I got, Sweet. I got two last questions for you. One thing: Is there anything? Do you want to fuck? No. <laughs> yes, Selena, I no. do. Is there anything that you want to promote? Like, is there anything you want to push on the on the pod? Is there anything you want to talk Just about? Just my Instagram, baby, and my OnlyFans. Follow my Instagram, All Selena right. A Powell X O. I'm sorry. What's your Instagram? At what? At Selena A Powell X O. Okay, and then what's your OnlyFans? OnlyFans.com backslash Lena Powell. Okay, and then my last question is, which I ask every single person that ever comes on my show, is there any... No, (laughs) listen, I got a lot of guys on my show. I don't fuck, I don't get down like that. Let me, uh, is there anything you want to ask me? Do you want to (laughs) fuck? Selena, I'm being serious, man. That's for real. How, How did you get lit? Are you a, are you a jeweler? I'm a jeweler. I mean, you never heard of me before? Honestly, I've probably no, been in, I've I been have, in 50 songs at least. 
yeah, that's why I've heard it. I heard your name a lot. But have I ever like went to your profile? No. But I have heard your name. I have no idea. I don't I wouldn't know. Yeah, no. Um I mean uh I was in the music business and uh I was part of Jay Z's first album, Reasonable Doubt, and I worked with, you know, everyone from Dr. Dre to Snoop and to um but a lot of old rappers, you know, I mean like older rappers, you know, nobody knew. But then, you know, for jewelry wise, I've made, you know, everyone that's popping I've made, you know, a piece for at one point for sure. Oh, you fuck with Des Bryant? Yeah, Des is my dog. Yeah, I'm looking at your comments now. He's so fun. You gotta link me. Can you link me with celebrities? How about that? <laughs> I'm not I'm listening. Like, I'm not contributing to any more of your delinquency. You definitely have have obviously no problem getting hold of these people. So, you know. Okay, what about making me a chain? Can you do that? Yes, we'll definitely talk about that. Even though I'm not making anybody shit right okay. now, because I'm like literally booked up until fucking uh like even though with, with the recession, the coronavirus and everything, like I'm making J Balvin ten chains right now, right? And then Bad Bunny next. Mm. I got chain smokers or anything else. Obviously, you Puerto Rican, so you should fuck with Bad Bunny. But um, well. I tried. No, I did have Bad Bunny in my DM, but I couldn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> you don't speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish. And I didn't know what he was saying. So I didn't want to meet up with him and be like, I honestly don't. I was using Google Translate to DM him back. <laughs> Dead ass. All right, listen, Selena. I really appreciate you coming on behind the baller. I, I, I listen for real, for real. Um, I don't know, man. We, we're gonna have to definitely do a follow up in a year and see where we at with it. Cause you in a year, let's yeah. do a follow up when this is done. Okay, we'll I'm do a follow up. We'll, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I know you blushing. It's okay. Oh my god, you're so funny. Can't wait All right. to see you. All right, Selena. I appreciate you big time for real. <laughs> All right, have All a right. good day. Thank you, Mama. All right. What up, guys? So Quip, makers of the Quip electric toothbrush, wants you to know the one single discovery that matters most for your dental care is simply this. If you have good habits, you are good. That means brushing for two minutes, twice a day, and flossing regularly, no matter what brand you use. Quip makes that simple. Starting with an electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and anti-cavity toothpaste. Quip's electric brush has sensitive sonic vibrations with a built-in timer and a 30-second pulse to guide a full and even clean. Plus, Quip delivers fresh brush heads, floss, and toothpaste refills to your door every three months with free shipping. So your routine is always right. Join over 3 million healthy mouths and get Quip today starting at $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash baller right now, you'll get your first refill for free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash baller. Spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash baller. So we're back. Um, I heard a lot of shit about seeing the pal on blogs, right? And, and I, I've read stuff and, and uh, shit. They, they say she's a pathological liar. But there are too many receipts that she's posted and tons of pics of of her screenshots, her in bed with celebrities and rappers, her wearing them chains at at motherfucking 3 a.m. while they're asleep next to her. Like, she actually sent me the screenshot of her convo with fucking Donald Trump Jr., all right, which is, which is great, all right? But listen, fuck Donald Trump Jr., you know what I mean? Fuck him. Anyways, it was definitely entertainment. I hope you guys enjoy it, all right? And- any of my homies who are mad about the fact that I gave her a fucking platform and that she's on my show, y- y'all need to lighten up, period. You know, there's a lot of motherfuckers that done some stupid ass shit, whatever. She's a public fucking figure for whatever it may be, bad or good, she's on there, all right? Crazy how her interview and my wife's birthday ended up on episode 69. Anyways, I didn't plan that, all right? The emergency podcast with my boy Rich changed things. Much love to my boy Rich. Speaking of Rich, um, 
I send my deepest condolences to his family. Um, rest in peace to his grandma, who passed away due to complications from COVID-19. It's fucking crazy. Um, you guys do the math. Obviously, you guys, if you guys heard the emergency podcast episode, uh, it's the only one I've had in 69 episodes. Rich, hold your head, fam. I love you, bro. Um, man, I'm so sorry, man. Also, condolences to my boy who died this week as well from COVID-19. No previous health issues. In fact, this dude had a six-pack. He had a washboard abs. He drank a lot of water. This motherfucker, as far as I know, was drinking juice and shit, was exercised often. He uh, was in great shape, man. Anyways, crazy. Uh, RIP to my boy, JG. It's fucking crazy, man. So yesterday was April Fool's, but ain't shit funny at all. I'll be real, man. There's nothing worth joking about. Um, you know, it's try to lighten up sometimes, but I'm just saying it's just nothing worth joking about. And last night, I was supposed to be at Staples Center with my guy, Michael Rappaport, watching the Lakers-Pacers game courtside next to the Lakers bench, all right? I was hoping that Mike Rapp got kicked out for talking shit to LeBron on the bench, okay? And again, not to bring up money, but it's it's important. That's $12,000, just a straight L to my to my bank account, right? I, I get, hold on, wait a I guess it's $5,000 L, all right, because I'm supposed to get $7,000 back because the retail value of the tickets is what they're going to refund, which is still bullshit. Um, instead of watching the game courtside, I watched the producer beat battle between Scott Storch and Manny Fresh. And now I'm a huge Manny Fresh fan. Like, I, like I fuck with Manny heavy. Like, I've been fucking with him since. Since, they, since the whole hot boy movement started, cash money, I'm a big fan of Manny, right? But, man, Scott Storch, I'm sorry, man. Scott annihilated him. He killed him, okay? I don't think Manny Fresh prepared for this. I think Scott did. I think Scott had a team. They had everything ready to go. But Manny didn't play some of his biggest hits, all right? Like, go DJ and that's my DJ. That fucking song, just the beat was just knocking. Listen, he co-produced. He had a small producer credit on what happened to that boy, which is one of the most fucking legendary beats. Even though the Neptunes, as a Neptunes beat, it was like, but number one stunner? Number one stunner? Yo. Number one stunner. That shit was such a vibe that... I made it my fucking email address in 2000, 2001, that whole time. My email address was number one stunner at benballer.com. Damn. Anyways, man, I don't know who the fuck. I mean, if Scott got to see Pharrell next, because he don't want to see Dre, that's for damn sure. But anyway, some of these IG live battles have been really good. Um, that Neo fucking, I forgot what the other dude's name is, songwriter shit was great. Uh, Hit Boy, Boy Wonder was good. Um, there's some good live battles, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. But back to sports, or the lack of pro sports, I doubt there'll be an NBA season this year. All right? And I was speaking to my homeboy who plays for the Dodgers, Jock Peterson, and he told me that he was told that mid-July would be the time for opening day for the Dodgers. But again, I guess they'll play with no fans, right? unless they're going to do the special brand new, newest technology, 10-minute testing for COVID-19, right? They have this 10-minute tester that tells you the results in 10 minutes, right? Are they going to do that for like, what is that? 60,000 fans, right? Before they enter the stadium. How long would that take? Fucking five hours to get in? And that's if, you know, they don't enforce a, they have to enforce a 10-foot distancing rule, right? There has to be. Because even the ones in line who are waiting to get tested to enter the stadium will get people infected, okay? Same goes for basketball. I mean, if they do the basketball season without fans, I'm telling you right now, players got that shit, period. It's just going to be fucking worse. I, man, it's just, I don't know. Uh, a total shit show, period. Uh, what else? On to better news. Um, I was a guest on Jordan Belfort's uh Jordan Belfort, yeah, aka the Wolf of Wall Street. I was on a guest on his podcast yesterday. 
Um, it's available wherever you get podcasts. Um, I listen to it on the Apple Podcast. It's called The Wolf's Den. Uh, we discuss how to survive this coronavirus pandemic financially. Uh, we battled, went back and forth, but he started off the show with giving me my propers, right? He gave me my flowers. He agreed on a lot of points that I'd made earlier after he had said he got some information from somebody high above about how bad the death numbers were, you know, the actual numbers were in China. But it was a great show. Definitely check it out, you know. We couldn't do it live in the studio, so we did it via our recording. The Dust Brothers are fucking amazing. You already know that. Um, I got my Zoom H6 recorder. That shit's the industry standard. And for some reason, you know, my, I feel like my mic sound a little better. I'm not dissing you, Jordan, I'm just being honest. But it was a great show. Definitely please check it out. Uh, Jordan Belfort actually put me in touch yesterday after. It's so funny. Yesterday, he put me in touch with an old friend of mine. Um, his name is Kevin Connolly. If you guys ever watched the show Entourage, he played E, you know, little, I guess he's a, no, he wouldn't be a ginger, I don't know. Anyways, uh, me and Kevin Connolly have been friends for like 25 years. I don't know why he didn't DM me, because he follows me. But uh, he's doing a documentary, podcast, podcast documentary, murder doc, about an unsolved murder that happened 18 years ago from this nightclub doorman of this place called Garden of Eden. This was a legendary enormously huge nightclub in the LA nightclub scene. This was some high-end shit. This was where Paris and Kim Kardashian were hanging out and partying and shit. I was a DJ there. And uh, someone else I knew as well got murdered. And uh, it's an unsolved mystery, which is crazy, right? And I don't know, it could be drama, I don't know. Um, anyways, he put it all together and he wants me to be on the show. So I'm gonna be speaking on that sometime soon. I know what I've said today right on today's and earlier on today's podcast on today's episode what i said is tough to chew all right and i know it's even tougher to swallow but always remember this tough times don't last tough people do all right i said that shit literally 12 years ago i seen motherfuckers take it here and there whatever and i got that from jonas rest in peace when i was going through a real tough time i just got arrested fucking Police had raided my crib for no reason, all kinds of bullshit. I just want you guys to know, I know it's a lot of negativity and everything, but it's realness. So not necessarily negativity, it's real life that's going on, right? But I want you guys to know, that's why I always say this is not your practice life. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting like this is practice, motherfucker. This is real, okay? But as real as it is, this shall pass. Better times are ahead. Things are gonna get good. Things are going to be better than they ever were before. We're going to be prepared. Fools are going to stay ready so they ain't got to get ready. All right? There's no need to be racist towards anyone. All right? Why don't you help somebody out? Help someone who needs help. Okay? I saw this one celeb. Don't really want to mention his name or her name, I guess. I, you know, one of those, right? It's a transgender, um, but I, I don't really know how to, how to address it really because... I don't know if he has to, it's just so, uh, an awkward situation, right? But I saw a celebrity handed out $15,000 in cash apps, like legit screenshot people, boom, 2,500 one person, 2,500 this person, and he sent, you know, 15,000 out. And it, that's big, yo. I ain't gonna lie to you, that's that's big, right? Easier to do when you got a nonprofit and you're working and the money comes here. It's way harder to do when it's coming out of your own pocket. That shit's tough. But I wanna remind you guys again, I currently have no income. Um, I don't know when some bread's gonna come in, but I saved for a time like this, thank God, because I have three kids, and uh, you know I can't have that fuck shit going around. But listen, I still handed out four thousand dollars in the last four days. Um, I got a little bit of help from my boy Vinny and Postmates. Uh, I might keep it going with these Postmates, you know what I'm saying, and, and help these families out who are hungry. So just stay tuned. Uh, please do me a favor, don't DM me any more sad stories. Don't email the podcast any sad stories. I read them all and it's overwhelming. I can't help everyone, but look at, man, I helped 75 people out so far since this has all gone down, okay? I want you guys to stay strong. God bless. I do truly love all my listeners and thank you all for listening and subscribing. If you love Behind the Baller, then please tell your friends about it, right? 
the way you can help me because I help you is to tell all your friends and tell them to tell their friends. Um, we've been crushing the numbers and we're still under a year old, so it's still kind of a new show. But thank you to everyone, especially the Dust Brothers, Miles and Jordan. Thank you to Lakey Inspired. Thank you to my boy, Illegal Cartel. And uh, yo, that, that's all the time we got, man. That's it, family. All right, I'll see you guys on Monday for episode 70. Remember, we got that jackass of the week, so do your submissions in there. Yo, Lakey, take us out of here, family.